workers must take steps such as correctly using surface cement and ensuring that adequate mud weight is being used to control the well to ensure a safe drilling process. Beyond that, the blowout preventer, which is also known as BOP, needs to receive constant tests with regular drills. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the Life Fixture. Well blowouts can occur at any point, such as the following. For example, drilling, well testing, well completion, production, workover activity. Now, the question is that, what is offshore drilling? Offshore drilling is the process of extraction petroleum from reserves located beneath the earth's oceans instead of reserves located on the mainland. Offshore oil rigs have developed greatly over the past years and have become gigantic structures that house hundreds of people at a time. Some facilities sit on towers that go to depths of 1220 meters below the surface, larger than any skyscraper ever conceived of. Now, my next question is why the offshore drilling is required? Recently, offshore drilling has increased in popularity as a result of the large amount of oil and other petroleum products used worldwide each day. The IEA estimates that in 2016, the worldwide consumption of oil and liquid fuels was 96 million barrels per day, working out to over 35 billion barrels a year. To meet this demand for fossil fuels, petroleum companies are faced with the task of searching in more remote locations to discover new reserves. Since ocean cover almost 3 over 4 of the earth surface, a large amount of the oil and natural gas reserves around the globe are located beneath water. Now, let's look at the drilling process. Well, the process of drilling for oil and natural gas under seas is much more challenging than drilling on land. Extraction, transportation, and environmental protection are all comparatively more difficult with offshore drilling than with traditional wells. In an attempt to make this process more simple, petroleum companies have developed offshore oil platforms to aid in this extraction. Once the offshore drilling platform is built, some method of extraction, the oil and gas from beneath the ocean and moving it to the surface without losing it must be done. To drill without water flowing into the hole or having all the oil surge up to into the ocean. A subsidiary temple template is used. This template is simply a large metal box with holes in it that is used to guide the drilling process and marks the site of each production well. Once the locations of the drilling sites are marked with this template, the drilling process can begin. To drill these wells, a number of 9 meter drill pipes are connected to form a large drill string used to reach deep into the earth's crust. Once connected, the string of drill pipes is connected to a device that spins it around and using the drill bit connected at the bottom of the drill uh, string the pipes green down into the earth surface. This drilling process can take a long period of time, lasting anywhere from weeks to months. During this time, if the bit becomes dull and needs replacement, the equipment is moved to the ocean floor 
in a tube known as marine riser. As the borehole moves deeper into the ground, a stream of drilling mud is sent to the drill bit and then moves back up to the platform. This mud is vitally important to the drilling process as it provides lubricants from the drill bit, seals the wall of the well and controls pressure inside of the wall. Any rock particles broken off during the drilling process are brought up to the surface suspended in the drilling mud. A filtration system on the platform filters the mud before sending it to the ocean floor again. Drilling itself happens in phases with the length of the wall drilled and then lined with metallic casing. Each phase of drilling creates a portion of the wall with a smaller diameter each portion lined with casing. Once drilled and keys, a packer is sent down the wall which expands and ensures the wall is sealed. Although drilling mud helps to control the high pressure experience when drilling, there is a significant risk of blowout. To prevent this from occurring, drilling rigs are equipped with a blowout prevention system on the sea floor. These systems act by the sealing the wall with the hydraulic rams if pressurized petroleum pushes up the wall, moving expelled fluids into the contaminate system to prevent pollution. Okay, now let's look at the extraction process. Once the well has been drilled, the final portion of the casing known as the production casing is installed. This casing ends in a cape that closes well, allowing the flow of petroleum into the well to be controlled. Explosives are sent below ground to crack this production casing at a variety of depths to allow oil and gas to enter well in a controlled manner and move to the surface at a reasonable pressure. When first drilled, the pressure from the reservoir is enough to send fluids to the surface, but as this pressure decline, pumps may be needed. Sometimes water or gas is pumped into the reservoir, increasing the reservoir pressure and allowing petroleum to flow again. In some cases, steam is sent down a well to heat the petroleum increasing its pressure. Since the liquid that is brought up to the platform is a mixture of crude oil, natural gas, water and sediment, some drilling platforms contain full production facilities to separate this mixture. Although most refinement occurs onshore, some companies use converted oil tankers to treat and store oil at sea. Once some initial treatment has occurred, Undersea pipelines and oil tankers transport the oil and natural gas to storage and treatment onshore. What if the pressure is not adequately monitored? When an offshore oil rig is drilling, serious problems can occur if pressure is not adequately monitored, leading to pressure changes that can ultimately result in the rapid flowing of combustible hydrocarbons. If this flow is not controlled or stopped in a timely fashion, it can ignite and cause a blowout. It has been said that blowouts are the most tragic and expensive incident in the upstream petroleum industry. They not only endanger the lives of those around the well, but they can also pose a monumental threat to the environment. The oil and gas extracted into the industry were first created and sealed under the earth's surface in a period that spanned over millions of years. The formation of these hydrocarbons products requires enormous pressure. So when extracting oil or gas through drilling, the force behind these formations must be considered. So it can't be ignored, I mean. Several key items must be in place to handle this pressure and avoid blowouts while safely extracting the oil or gas. Now, let's look at the importance of the well-maintained blowout preventers. In the dangerous and the delicate field 
of oil rigs, hundreds of mechanical parts come together to maintain the integrity of the structure and keep the rig functioning properly. Among these, the bloat preventer, which is also known as BOP, as I earlier mentioned, fills an essential role. It can't be ignored. This, combi this combination of individual preventers, bloat preventer stack, or bloat preventer system was developed to cope with the erratic, sometimes extreme pressure changes that can occur at a drilling site. When pressure builds up inside a drill hole or along with the flow of gas or oil, it could cause a catastrophic blowout of the equipment and threaten the stability of the rig. Blowout preventers are used as a failsafe to prevent a potentially disastrous buildup of pressure. The massive Deepwater Horizon oil spill, the most significant accidental marine oil spill uh, in the history of the industry, is partially attributed to the malfunctioning of the rig's 300 ton blow preventer. After the explosion on the rig, the blow preventer should have stopped the massive leak of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. But when it failed to complete this task, it was replaced by more successful methods. And in the event of catastrophe, the blower preventer can minimize the damage and keep oil from polluting the surrounding area. A well-maintained system of BOPs may be able to avoid a crisis altogether. After the deep water crisis, the US government enacted strict policies of developing, maintaining and inspecting blow preventers, particularly in deep sea drilling rigs. Despite the dangers of drilling, order for rigs and equipment for them showed no signs of decreasing. One can only hope that proper maintenance and caution regarding the blow preventers can help avoid a crisis like the deep water horizon incident. Thank you for watching. See you in the next comprehensive guide. Take care.